Well, guys, what I told you is what I can tell you is that Deuce Staley, uh, it has been reported by John Clark that Deuce Daly has out has asked out of his um, contract with the Eagles. Um, he has several opportunities to explore for other teams. And um, obviously, Deuce Staley was looking for a promotion of some kind somewhere. Eagles are filling a lot of, a lot of the positions on offense right now. And it looks like Deuce Daly is going to be gone. And you know what? It's It stinks, but it was going to happen, guys. Um, you know, we lose a good assistant like, you know, Deuce Daly. That's, you know, never really had a chance. I don't think they've really been really fair to him. Um, I don't know if he really, uh, he was beaten out of that OC job in 18. Maybe he did. Maybe he just said, ah, you know what? I'm going to stay as a running back coach. I don't know what the case is with that. Um, but he is asked to be um, pretty much get out of his contract with the Eagles and work something out to where he can go. And um, people were telling me it's not going to happen. People were telling me that even with the Bears and, you know, people were telling me that it wasn't it wasn't true. And, you know, it was false or, well, it's not false that he wants to leave. So um, it looks like Deuce Daly. And what's really going to be upsetting is probably going to be these running backs with Miles Sanders. You know, Miles Sanders, um it's going to be really upsetting for him to deal with a new running back coach. And um, I don't know who they're going to bring in. Um, they must have a plan. Um, obviously, they'll have a plan for this. I mean, the, 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 the spot has to get filled regardless. But at the end of the day, guys, you know, it was inevitable. Like, this was going to happen. Um, I didn't know if it was going to happen right now or things are starting to get real crazy now because now he's asking to be out of his contract. So um deuce has been a, a big voice um and you know he's there you know what i mean and uh i would have liked to see him promoted to something um i know it wasn't you know for an oc or whatever the, the eagles are filling up all the spots but um if it was maybe earlier they maybe could have done something but you know um deuce will always never be forgotten here not just as a player but as a coach as well and Obviously, you know, even with the Super Bowl as well, with those, you know, with with uh, LeGarrette Blunt and, and Jay Ajayi, Corey Clement, you know, with those guys as well. Like he was, you know, every running back that he always has, um, he's always very close to those guys and those and those running backs want to run for this coach and, and really play for this coach. And, you know, it's just crazy how things really change. So. Uh, that's news on Deuce Staley, and good luck to him wherever he goes. I'll obviously put the news out wherever he does sign. Um, just to let everybody know what's going on. But um, yeah, it's gonna be kind of gonna be kind of crazy. Now, in good news, uh, Nick Sirianni had a lot to do with this, and this is Jeff Statlin, the offensive line coach, was was going to go to Alabama for an offensive line job. Uh, I think Doug Marone. I forgot who took the job. Uh, down there for Alabama's offensive line. I forgot what his name was. But Jeff Stallon is going to be with the Eagles again this year. I'm um, very excited to say, uh, to say this. And uh, for our offensive line sake, we're not losing two good assistants. That are the only two good assistants that were actually good with the Eagles. And Jeff Stallon will be staying with the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, has a close relationship with all the guys. And will probably help Jason Kelsey not retire uh, this year, which is a good thing. Because I didn't know if... Uh, Jason Kelsey would retire, but I'm not saying he still could, but I think this would help like a million times, a million percent. So um, with Jeff Statlin being here, I was really afraid to lose him as well, but um, we have a very good offensive line going to next year. As much as some people say we don't, I think we have an offensive line plus depth, depending on what they do with Lane Johnson. Um, you know, we have Brandon Brooks coming back. Jack Driscoll, Nate Herbig um, became really good pieces, even though we did change the offensive line 14 times last year um i'm hoping you know injury bugs are just are killing us on, on at, at this level especially at the offensive line so jeff stallon is retained and going to be uh, coaching this offensive line this year i don't know how many more years he actually has on this contract i'm not really sure I haven't really looked at it but it's just good to see that he will be back um and nick sirianni apparently from the rumors had a lot to say about it and uh talked to uh, Nick Sariani talked to Jeff Stallin to, re to return for the Eagles this year. So can't wait for that. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So Deuce Daly is going to be gone. Jeff Stallin is going to stay. And that is the news. I will see you guys later. Kicks up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.